Hey guys, this is Mario back at Props of London, showing you some uh, items uh, from my collection, Friday the 13th uh, Props Museum. Uh, at this time we have uh, three hero masks from Freddy vs. Jason, part 6 and part 8. I think I will start with part 6 because this is the first movie I ever saw from the Friday the 13th franchise. Um, this mask is one of only two hero masks worn during the production. They had a couple more, of course, for a special effect reason, uh, stunts, backups, and so on. And this is number two of this uh, of the two uh, hero masks. So um, used in the second part of the movie after Jason gets uh, shot with a gun in the forehead. Um, if you look at the back side of the mask which is, by the way, always really surprising when I received this mask from the sources where I got them from, what the production altered um, on the different masks. This one has um, still glue stains and also from the ender mask stains left. Pretty cool detail, as, as I think. Another detail I wanted to show you is the cut on the right side face mask. This happens when the actress moves the motorboat propeller, the motorboat engine, to the side to cut Jason into the face and the head. And um, falsely, uh, the production crew cut the right side of the mask, while in the movie, when the actress moved the motorboat, she cuts his left side. And so they had to flip this scene in the end, in post-production, to match up again. And uh, this detail, however, can be screen matched on screen. If you watch the movie, pause it and you see it on the right side. The next mask I wanted to show you is uh, the mask worn by Kane Hodder, aka Jason Voorhees, in part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. This mask is the hero mask. There wasn't another hero mask, they had only one. A second one for special effect reason and a third one for stunt reason when Ken Kersinger uh, jumped into the movie for the stunt parts of Jason. Uh, funny uh, little fact is uh, Ken Kersinger also did the role of Jason in Freddy vs. Jason, but we come later to this mask. Now for this one, when I received this mask, it was a surprise when I turned it around because all the years I noticed this little black lining or, or decoloring, whatever it was. And when I received it, I turned it around. It, uh, it seems like someone put some spray paint on here and laid it down um, during the making or, or, or whenever and it ran down here, in there and this is where this line came from. All right, and finally uh, the mask used in Freddy vs. Jason. This is the only mask that officially left the movie studio. It comes with certificate of authenticity from New Line Cinema. It was auctioned off during the, uh, yeah, after the film released in theaters. And yeah, I love this mask. It has movie blood all around and the shape is very different to all the other masks uh, do you see on screen. It has some cracks on the right side permanently coming from the fighting scene between Freddy and Jason. Probably you know that all these three masks look uh, different, not only in shape, but also in coloring and uh, detailing, like the triangle, shift runs, everything. It's uh, coming because different production teams worked on these uh, different movies and the uh, special effect guys. And yeah, anyone wanted to get his input or his version of Jason's mask into this production, this is why they look so different. Probably uh, something you didn't know is uh, what these masks are made of. This mask is made of resin with fiberglass insert. These two ones are made from vacuum-formed plastic. And now the question of all questions, what color is the vacuum-formed plastic? Is it black? Is it white? No, these two are transparent. You can see it on some details over here on the forehead, on the nose. You can watch into it and see the silver shining through. All right, thanks for watching again. I hope you see you soon with some more items to show from my Friday the Teens props collection. Thank you.